Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. My name is Bas, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create pixel art in Illustrator. So for this video, we're going to recreate this uh, Mario Super Mario Bros. Um, pixel art, and we're going to do that in Illustrator. And as you can see here, here is my pixel art created uh, Mario with these four colors, and we're going to redo this. So what you need to do is i have this artboard here and you can need to turn on your grid you can do that by going to view and then here hide grid as you can see and it's gone or you can go to show grid so here is my grid and then i have this image just download any image you would like just get it off of you of google somewhere and then you can import it here and if, as you can see you can of course here count the little blocks and the pixels uh, on this image so just line it up with your grid so that all of these pixels line up with your with these little uh, squares in your grid here. And what you're going to do then is go to view and then turn on snap to grid. And I'm going to select my rectangle tool here. I'm going to make this black and I'm gonna zoom in and I'm going to just trace this uh, Mario. So I'm going to make a circle and here uh, the square and you can see that it snaps to this grid here. So it's a perfect square here. And if I move it, it's snapping to the grid because I'm, I've turned on snap to grid here. So um, what you can do now, if you can, if you select this and you can hold option on your keyboard and then click and drag it over here, you make a copy, as you can see. So then you have a copy. But uh, a quicker way to do this is to select this, holding option and then pressing an arrow button. So the arrow to the right makes a copy to the right. And we're going to do that again. So to the right and then don't hold option and press it down just to move it. Do the same thing again. And then just repeat this like this. And you can kind of just fill in all of the, in this case, uh, black shapes. So I'm just going to do this like a coloring book, pixel coloring book, like that. So I'm just going to move this here, create two, um, duplicate that, like this. So this takes a while, but it's not that, that big of an image. So it should be done quite quick enough. So like this, go all the way here. Oh, and then here I've got to copy it, so copy it to the right, left, and to here, like that. So now I'm going to speed through this, so you don't have to watch me do this whole thing. So now I'm done with the black part here. So I'm going to select everything I just created, and the image here is locked, so I select everything here and then press Command G, or right click and go to Group. And now I have this uh, group here, it's all selected, so that's easier to work with right now. So now I'm going to create a new square here. And I'm going to give it this color here, like that. I'm going to do the same thing all over again. So just copy and paste these little uh, squares in here. And I can tell you it's quite satisfying doing this. It's not difficult. It's like, well, as I said, like of a, a pixel coloring book kind of you can't go wrong here because you're on the grid just follow the colors of this image here like that oops uh, somewhere more yeah like here oh, oh. There you go. So I'm going to select the black shape, press Command 2 on my keyboard to lock it. And I can select all of these pink shapes here, press Command G again. And then I'm going to fill in this one, make it red, like that. And then do the same thing for the last time. Of course, you can choose your own colors here. The colors of this uh, image are um, a bit less vibrant than the colors I'm using right now. But I think I like this look a bit better. Oops to make it more of that classic red Mario look. Okay, and then here, yeah, last ones, I think. Yeah, and then select the pink and press Command 2 again to lock that as well. Select the red, Command G. I'm only doing that so I have a bit more control over all my layers. So if I want to change this red color, do something green, I can do that instantly and then I have to select every little pixel on its own. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it. I'm going to 
just make a nice blue background here like this all right and where is my my image here yes so like this so there you have it this is my uh, mario uh, just lock this layer and select all of them and then press command g again so i can have this one layer as you can see here we have our pixel art so that's really easy to do um, thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below or even consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already thank you guys for watching if you want to download the project files for this project for this video you can support us on patreon where you can download the project files and get a whole nother bunch of cool interesting stuff to support the channel get more interactive with us so uh, thank you guys for watching and see you soon thank you bye bye